Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL video on our channel Learn at No Star. In today's video, we are going to write a SQL query to calculate the rolling or the moving average. Now, a rolling or a moving average is an average of certain values over a time period, a certain time duration in the past. So, let's say you want to calculate the rolling average as of today. You will be calculating an average of the values over the past 12 days, past 3 days, past 4 days or whatever is your criteria for calculating the rolling average. Now, rolling average is needed in situations like the stock market analysis or even for a customer trend analysis where there are many fluctuations in the prices over different days. So you want to smooth out those fluctuations to get a better idea. So so if we go to Investopedia where they have taken the example of the stock prices, it is basically this kind of curve that you would get. So these are the, this is a 50 days moving average and if you uh, plot the average price of a stock on each day, you will be getting these high fluctuations which might make it difficult for analyzing the trend. But if you calculate the moving average over this 50 day period, then you get a smoother graph and it is easier to analyze the trend in which the stock prices are going. Now, there are two kinds of moving averages. There is a simple moving average, which is as simple as calculating the average of the values over those past few days over which you are calculating the average. There's also something uh, called the exponential moving average, which is like a weighted average. The more recent entries in this case is given a higher weight, uh, which is more responsive to the latest stock prices. So in that case, the graph is more responsive to the latest uh, stock prices. In our case, we are going to calculate a simple moving average, which is pretty simple and straightforward. It will allow us to learn a new feature of SQL, which is our intention. So let's get started. So I'm going to be working with some currency data. I already have this data as part of the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database, which is pretty simple to download and install. There's a link in the description below, which gives you an idea on how to install SQL Server Management Studio and a backup database. So if you're not sure how to install AdventureWorks Data Warehouse, then you can go to that link and you can check out the way this can be done. Now, there are certain tables in this database called effect currency rate table and a dim currency uh, table. So if we look at the data, I have just joined these two tables on the currency key. And if I execute this, um, I will see that you have a currency key which corresponds to a currency name, as you can see. Then you have the average rate over that day because the currency price might vary during the day as well. But what we are going to be concerned with and working with is the end of day rate. And with each date, you can see that each day your end of day rate is going to be something different. So we are going to attempt to calculate a three day rolling average on this currency. So what we can do is simply it's pretty straightforward and easy to calculate that. Um, I'm just going to use this part over here. So as a first step, let's just select the columns that we are interested in. So the first thing that we want to know is obviously the currency. So instead of taking the currency name, I'm just going to select the currency alternate key, which is a three digit code, as you can see of the currency. But that should be enough for us. So I'm going to select the currency alternate key. Other thing that I need is the date. I'm just going to go with the date key because it gives us a pretty good idea of what the date is. Now you can see that the data is pretty old, but that's okay. So date key. And I'm going to be concerned with the end of day rate. That is what I'm interested in calculating the rolling average on. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate that rolling average. For that, I can simply use for calculating any average, I can simply use the function average. And what is this and average going to be on? It is going to be on end of day rate. And I'm going to use my aggregate function. So I'm going to write a over clause. And in this, I'm going to partition by the currency, obviously. 
because there are different currencies in this so i can just partition by the currency key as well and then i'm going to order by i'm going to order by the date This obviously is not enough because you are just calculating an average on the row price which is ultimately going to be the same price as the end of day rate which is not what we want. We want to go back by three rows. Let's say we are calculating a rolling average, a three day rolling average. So we want to go back by three rows from the current row on which we are working. So for that what you need to write is simply rows between between so i want to go back by two rows and including the current row it will be the three days for which i want to calculate the average so what we need to write is simply rows between two preceding and current row so current row here refers to the row on which you are uh, performing the operation this is going to be your three day rolling average now let's say I also want to calculate uh, the average, a 12 day rolling average. So what you need to do simply is copy the whole thing from here and simply make it rows between 11 preceding and current row. So this will cover the 12 row because 11 plus the current row is 12. And we need to define this by the table because it's a common column in the fact and the dimension table. So here we go and if we execute this, so if we execute this, we get an error saying that there's incorrect syntax near 3. And it highlights this point where we have given an alias name for the column for the 3 day rolling average. And this is because an object name cannot start with a number that is a rule in SQL Server. The object name itself can be alphanumeric. So let's say I add an A over here. So you will see that the error has disappeared. But the rule is that the starting character or the first character can only be an alphabet or it can be an underscore. So if I put an underscore, you will see that again the error is not there. So let's leave it at an underscore and let's add that underscore over here as well. And now let's execute a query. So once I execute the query, you will see that the 3D rolling averages and the 12 day rolling averages, both of them have been calculated. As simple as 3D rolling average, if you look at the first row, you will see it is the same. The 3 day rolling average and the 12 day rolling averages are the same because there are no preceding rows to this particular entry but as you go down further in the entry you will see that the averages have been created as per the values in the table so this is how you can calculate the rolling average now one thing that you need to remember for this is that you need to make sure that there's an entry for each date in your table if you're creating a daily average uh, if there is any date which is missing then you need to first make sure to create a dummy entry for that date that can be done in different ways. You can use a calendar or a date table in your database if you have it. Or, or you can create different date entries using maybe recursive CTEs or something. So, so there are different ways in which it can be done. But we have to be sure that we have an entry for each particular date. Otherwise, the calculation is just based on the rows. So it will just consider the previous three rows irrespective of whether your data is continuous or not. So this is simply how you can calculate the simple rolling average. For the exponential rolling average, which is a bit more complicated, we will be doing a different video. So if you're interested in knowing how to calculate the exponential moving average, do let us know in the comments below. Also, if this video was useful, please do not forget to like this video, comment on this video. And also, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be posting many more videos really soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.